In the previous video, I, I showed you how to set up an input form for a note-taking app. And we've got it so the user can enter some text. And then we've got a list of notes that's going to appear. And when they click Submit, of course, the old shield show up. So what we need to do is, is define that behavior, is program the behavior. So when they click on the Submit button, the list gets added, the note gets added to our list, and then we display that list. Uh, so I'm going to bring up the Blocks Editor. And the Blocks Editor, of course, is where we define the behavior for our app. And um, what we're going to need to do is define a, a list. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is go to Definitions and define a variable. And I'm going to call this my Note List. And that variable is going to be a list. So I'm going to do this Make a List block. And that basically says, you know, I've got a variable which is going to have a bunch of items in it. And every note the user enters, we're going to stick into this list. Um, to start out, when we define it, it's going to be empty. Um, so that this is exactly the entire definition for, for saying we've got a list of, of notes. Okay? But the information is dynamic, so we're going to enter stuff kind of on, on the fly. So the next thing we want to do is we want to program the Submit button. So I'm going to grab the submit button dot click, and remember that's when the user clicks on the submit button, this event is going to get triggered every time they click it. Okay, so we've got this list, and what we want to do is add an item to the list. So I'm going to just click on the screen and go to the list palette, and there's this um, block called add items to list. Okay. And the list we want to add to is the one I just created here, this notes list. So I'm going to grab a reference to it in my definitions. There it is. And the item we want to add is whatever the user has typed in this text box. So they're going to type some information here, click submit. We want to grab what's in this text box. And remember we called that text box note text box. That's great. So I'm going to go to Note Text Box and grab the Text property. Okay, and the Text property, you can think of this as being whatever the user has typed in in that text box. And just for the heck of it, I'll add a little comment here that, that actually says that. It's what the user has typed in. And I'll make that text box smaller. So really what we're saying right now is as soon as they click that button, take whatever is in the text box and add it as an item to this list. Okay, now notice this, any variables you define, they're kind of hidden, right? They're, they're like a spreadsheet that exists inside your app, but the user can't see it. So what we need to do is, is actually show our list in our display. And we set up this notes list label to do that. So I'm going to grab a set notes list label dot text to block. Okay. And what I want to stick in that label is my list that I, I built. So I'm going to go to my definitions, get a reference to note list. Okay, and there, there we go. So so right now they click on the button. I change my internal list to add the new item. And then I say, you know what? I actually want to display that internal list. I'm just going to do it in a simple way, just stick it into a to a label. As you'll see, it's not going to come out pretty, but it'll it 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 will work. So let's let's find our emulator. I think it's up here. Um, and now I think if we enter some notes, and I'll just do something real simple. My first note and click submit. You'll see it shows up, and and it shows up with parentheses around it. That's that's the default way a list appears. Um, if I do another note and click Submit, you, you can see the second one. And if I do a third one, click Submit, there it is. And you know, if, if I go, if I wrap an, or put enough text in here, it'll wrap around onto the next line. But you know, this is a real ugly way of showing my list. But as you can see, my list is getting built up with data every time the user clicks submit. I'm displaying it, showing it to the user so they can see all their notes. It's just, just not a very nice way to do it. Okay. 
but so far we've at least been able to save the information as they enter each note. Now there's a couple things we need to, to worry about. One is after they enter a note and we stick it in the list, we should probably kind of erase or, or, or take out whatever they entered so it's a, a blank screen again. Okay. So in my blocks editor to do that, I'm going to just go back to notes text box. And what I'm going to do is just stick an empty text box in there. The nice thing is if you put an empty text in the text box, it'll show your hint again. Okay, so let's see how this goes. I'm going to add a fifth note and click submit. And what I'm hoping is the fifth note will appear, but then this text box will blank out. And actually when it blanks out, it'll show the original hint. And that happens. So because I kind of put a blank text into the text box after they submit, I've kind of set this up for the next for the next note. Okay, so anyway, here's the the you know we've kind of got a note taking app. Um, it, it's ugly, so we'll, we'll work on that. And also, we're going to need to worry about persistence. Um, so right now, when I close my app and reopen it all these notes will be gone. And that's, of course, not what a user would expect.